2022 has been a year with AI written all over it, mainly in copywriting tools, but we have also now seen it in image generation and video generation. I want to share my top five software released in 2022. And of course there is some AI in between. So let's dive right in. When I look back to make this video to see what type of software I signed up for, then surprisingly I couldn't find a lot that I continue to use in my everyday. Compared to 2021, then I signed up and are still using more than 20 software. But this year I barely signed up for more than five and that's why it is my top five software that I use on a daily basis. And the first tool is Gleep. Gleep I have reviewed on the channel and Gleep was a type of investment because when I first signed up for Gleep, the only thing they could do was basically create a roadmap and then you could do some surveys. But today they can do so much more. With Gleep you can have a live chat that reminds me a lot of Intercom, especially on the design. And overall the design of Gleep was what made me sign up in the first place because the design is such a big part of my decision phase when I choose a software. Aside from the live chat, then we of course have a more elaborate roadmap now. We have a knowledge base. We can send out continuous surveys, emails, chat messages, and so much more. And they have kept their well-designed platform overall. So now I just have an entire support ecosystem with Gleep that I'm using in my own startup planter and it works very smooth. Even though Gleep does not have any AI integrated, then the next product has, and that's Luna. Luna was a software that really surprised me. I went in to test Luna with no expectations, and to say it mildly, I was blown away by the features. The way that they basically generate the emails, because Luna is for cold email outreach. So not only do they find the leads, they also generate the emails for you and send it out for you. You just have to integrate your email account. So you get the full plate of all of the features you need to get started with cold email outreach. And I really like that because normally then you either get the leads part or you get the sending email part. You don't often see you have both of these functionalities. And not only do we have both features, they're working very well because the email generated is generated using AI, but also all of the information we get from Luna when they go out and crawl all of the leads. So not only do they crawl the name, they also crawl the position, what the company is doing and the company name. So these small variables are used to make a customized, personalized email which is sent out. And some of the issues I encountered to begin with was I Luna found a lot of emails that just they were not working. It was emails that was just kind of spam emails. And every time I send an email out to those type of emails, my email domain grade just went down and it just kept on going down. So I stopped that immediately and Luna has since fixed that. Furthermore, then they have built their entire own engine now to crawl these leads, find what is needed for you specifically. So you get more qualified leads to send emails out to and I know that they're working on making more personalized emails, which will just make this email cold outreach even better. Luna is not for you who wants to send out 100 emails every second. Luna is for you who wants to sit and nitty pick each email you send out to make sure it's personalized. It is very impressive and we stay within the AI because the next product is ChatGPT3. And ChatGPT3, as soon as it was released, it basically blew up the internet. It was everywhere on every social media. Everyone on TikTok was using it because the quality of the output was outstanding. Basically, ChatGPT3 is generating content on your command. So you are basically chatting with an AI bot, you're doing different commands and the AI bot is responding to you. So of course you can do simple commands as asking questions, we can also get the ChatGPT3 to write articles for you. For instance, you can get it to write a 1200 word article on a specific topic within your niche. And you can even be more specific to tell that it needs to use specific NLP keywords to make sure it's SEO optimized. There are so many possibilities using ChatGPT3 and as I understand it, it gets smarter every day. 
Though there is one issue with ChatGPT3 and that's facts. It does not always get the facts correct and often it just straight up gives you wrong facts but it's so confident in the way that it gives you. So I will always recommend you that if you're using ChatGPT3 then make sure to check all the facts through, at least read everything through. Because another thing they're also working on is adding this encrypted stamp on all of the content generated. This means that it will easily be detectable, not only by humans, but also by machines and Google. This means that Google can go out and basically ban all AI content. So it's super important you always look through all of the content generated by ChatGPT3 and make sure that it is how you want it. All the facts are correct and maybe change the tone so it looks like at least you have written it. ChatGPT3 is running on GPT 3.5, which is the newest version, and it is trained on a data set. So everything beyond that data set is just not possible with ChatGPT3. But with GPT 4 coming out, hopefully next year, ChatGPT3 will get GPT 4 as well, and we will see an even better experience using this chatbot. And talking about AI, the next product is Poised. And Poised is a meeting application or a meeting assistant using AI to help you improve your appearance at meetings. So it works in two ways. You have your live assistant where you can get live feedback both on how you speak, whether you speak too fast, too slow, if you're using the wrong words, if you're looking directly into the camera. All these small variables you will get live feedback on and when I tested Poised this live assistant was not working well for me. It is working, but it is delayed. So I saw myself basically speaking faster, slower. I was up and down using the wrong words. And I found myself basically turning the live assistant off. And then later on, going back to the summary of how my meeting had went to use that and then improve. So after each meeting, I will go through, I will skim all of the summary to see what I needed to improve because then I could do it while I had time. I was not stressed by this live assistant telling me to speak faster, slower, use these words looking to the camera. I could do it in a calm environment and look through what was important for me. And I think Poise is a very interesting app and at some point then you just reach where you do all the things correct and then Poised is not necessarily a tool you need to keep on using. Of course they will add more variables in the future and then again it will be relevant. But the last tool I want to mention is ScaleNut. And ScaleNut was not necessarily released in 2022 but in 2022 they really came into the market full steam ahead with their AI article generator. They had taken a step further building it into multiple steps to make it easier for us to generate content. And I have generated content for my own startup planter and I can see now it is ranking. As late as today, I received an email from Google Search Console that I've received 35 clicks the last month. So slowly it is ranking. Of course, there are a lot more factors than just the content, but it is working. I have not alterated this content a lot. But what I think will be very interesting will to see with these type of tools like ScaleNut, Phrase, PepperType is how they will compete against ChatGPT3 because what ScaleNut and Phrase can do right now, I can basically go into ChatGPT3 and do the same. I don't get the same research, but I can get the same output. So I think things like integrations is a place they can really differentiate. And I know already now ScaleNut is integrated with SimRush so we can pull in more data from our SimRush account. And I think it's small features like that that will make them stand out from ChatGPT3 and take it a step further into the SEO game where ChatGPT3 is just this general text generation or this general live chatbot you can chat with and get general text from. So if they can go ahead and make it more specific towards maybe even niches and content generation is something we will also see in 2023. But another thing I think we will see more of in 2023 is AI built into current products. This means that products that are now not using AI will find ways to use AI in their current products to make it even better. So of course we will still see AI copywriting tools pop up here and there. We'll see image generation, video generation, 
But I think the thing that will be most interesting in 2023 is to see how products and how people will integrate AI into their current setup, their current companies to make those products even better. And lastly, GPT-4, as I have mentioned, is set to release in 2023. And even though the data set is not going to be as big as people expected, it will still be a lot bigger than GPT-3.5. So it will be so interesting to test that out as well. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.